The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. Let me know if any uh, the sound gets weird or anything like that. I ran a bunch of tests and it uh, it sounded good. I've never heard of this game. Lies, Gavin. Lies. Gavin, this is one of the best games ever made. Probably my favorite game of all time, man. So, uh, settle in and don't let your mom catch ya. Doing good, man. Ready for some MGS2? Hell yeah, bro. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, the stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't see you frums with 200 anyway. juicy bits. The Thank you, brother. Not so bad, is it? Thank you Privacy so much, guaranteed. man. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Blonde, what's up, man? So well, that reminds Welcome me, to I the have stream, to get in bro. Again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. This is the juiciest okay, quality, bro. 
You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black hot, market? Hot, hot HD remasters. Movies? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state... Thank you for the 200 bits, see you. ...has its own version of Metal Gear. You are a Not rock exactly star, my dude. classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Metal Gear. Would you like a million bits the for Christmas? Is yes. To visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that yes. tanker and bring back <laughs> photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find How out you where doing, the blonde? tanker is headed. A little quite a jump from the dank 480p. Yeah, boy. This, new this is 1080 pixels. Deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. How are you we doing, know Blondie? Where the arena is, I can How's your Monday? Some reasonable conclusions. Probably right. fucking I'll Tuesday for you now. ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal I'll is avoid to collect evidence on no. development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget Pretty gosh good. Philanthropy now, good to hear it, lad. Good to hear. Anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Metal Gear. Tuesday for eight minutes. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of ten. Triple H murder Kurt Angle son today. Ooh. As for the equipment. Hey, snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? I thought it kind of got to be a buzzkill on the smokes. Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Triple H will pay. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Earth to Snake terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's class. You don't want Snake going myself. cold turkey no during a stressful well, mission, man. Hell no. Otacon's gotta be a, a buzzkill. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. Streams make me do homework? So. Good. Those men, you caught up on that homework. wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. Your uncle says so. The ships passing on the river and in the harbor, Putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. Snake People got good grades in school. The, riverside too. the water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops too. Security should be tighter. I'm so fucking excited to stream Metal Gear. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds safely below. How's the, the audio, boys? You see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. Am I too loud compared to the gameplay? Too quiet? I'll let you, boy. I'll try not to talk too much during cutscenes from here on out. Gotta do Metal Gear Justice. Ooh. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear today. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? Probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a Hey man, you fixed office? it. Yes, sir, I, I did. Computer, so Welcome back to the I stream, Buku. Yeah, Kojima made the Marines look like shit in this. AKS 74U. AKS 74U. Da, put on your hat, comrade. 
Russians? You sure? No marine barber types that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. <laughs> My hair is sufficiently wet. Now let's put on a hat. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K60 Kasatka. There's the K60. Kamov chopper, right? Killer whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, ah, okay? blow open. All right, I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Time for some dog tag collecting. Getting your hair cut tomorrow, Gav? It's about time you're starting to look like a hippie, boy. Freeze. Huh? Get up, Snake. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Are you going to shoot me? I don't think his name's Jonathan S. Wilson. Oh, knock it off. Up. Ah, there goes the no kill playthrough. And his dog tags. Rip. Otacon's got to call me to tell me how to open the door. I gotta make sure my pop-ups are working. Wrong one. How's everybody doing tonight? Everyone fucking uh, hyped up for some MGS? I hope so. so. I'm hyped up for it. Just want to make sure my pop-ups are working. They're working? Come on, where is it? I'm not sure it is.
I see the event list is working, but I don't see the actual pop-up happening. Oh, you're working? Gotcha. Working and lurking. You're fucking weird. There it is. Oh, you're fucking weird. You're fucking weird. All right. Buku Cuckoo with the bit. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you guys testing my pop-up for me. That pop-up is awesome. I agree. I agree. All right. Metal Gear time. Let's get some tags. Shit, he's going to turn. Hmm? Hmm? Freeze. <gasps> How the fuck did he not see me? He was too busy looking at the damn ground. Now, where is my BB? I gotta tell ya, bits are like donations? Yeah, Gavin. That's exactly what they are. Every bit's a penny. And every bit fucking makes my day. My BB's in this locker. Ooh. I gotta tell ya, a teenage to walk? Ah. Hey, Buku Kuku with a hundred zombie bits. My man. My man. Thank you so much, bro. Let's put that right there. <coughs> oh, Snake's got a, got a cough. Or sneeze. Cough, sneeze. Same difference. Let's not split hairs. I, I don't have enough left to do that. Hmm? Who's there? Freeze. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm? Who's there? What are you? What are you? That means he's not gonna shake it. Keep growing, dude. Thank you so much, Buku. Your guys' support means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. I couldn't do this without my supporters. Freeze. No. Please don't. Well, the bits are penny. I ain't got that many. You can farm bits by watching ads, dude. That's what I do for my favorite streamers, you know? You gotta show that love and support. But hey, man, if you ain't got them, just being here chatting, watching, lurking, it all makes my day, man. All makes my day. Hey, freeze. Huh? What are you? Don't kill me. How about your crotch? Shake it, shake it, sh 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 shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. All right, is there an asshole back here? There is. What are you? Freeze. <gasps> Ugh. <laughs> Crotch. I'll watch ads for a thousand hours. I appreciate that, man. Like I said, just being here makes my day, so don't you guys feel obligated to do anything like that. It's all appreciated. All appreciated. What are you? A surveillance camera? All 
I thought there was a ration in there for some reason. Alright, let's go find Olga Pataki. Please don't. When I first got this game, when I very first played it back in the day, I spent so much time in this room shooting all the different shit you can shoot. Like these melons. Gourds, whatever they are. The flower. It was so, so ahead of its time. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I fucked up already. Yep. Good lord. I am not a very solid snake. I took the medicine. Why am I sneezing? I ain't got no more. Terrible. Terrible espionage. Decent action, but terrible espionage. Come on, Snake, get that sneeze out of your system. Or did he sneeze because of the flower? Holy shit, there's a lot of guys up here. We'll go ahead and wait for that caution to go away. Yeah, if you go ahead and just wait for that caution to go away, that'd be great. What are you? God damn it! I swear to god, I'm not this bad at this game. Okay, I'm bad. Oh, come on, webcam. Stop being a pain in my ass. Crotch shot is punishment. All right, let's go challenge him. Let's go challenge. Enemy sighted. Huh? What was that just now? <gasps> Being attacked. I don't know where he is. Titan security. Understood. I got squad to <laughs> Son of a whore. How the fuck did it see me? Your positions. Increase security. Understood. 
I don't normally play on hard. I decided to challenge myself. What was that just now? Stop shooting me, I'm just a box. God damn it. I got him. Send reinforcements. I can get him in the crotch. Mikey. I just picked up Observer and X Morph Defense. What's that for, bro? Why the fuck won't he grab him? Oh, he wouldn't come in here? What the hell? PC, no more consoles for me. Nice. I had to get a console for Final Fantasy 15. Had to. It was worth it, though. My lovely wife bought it for me. Freeze. Talking about my PS4. Stop. St stop. Snake. Freeze. Please don't. Finally, we get his dog tag. It only took like three alerts. And he didn't even fucking have one. Hmm? Are they actually going to send a backup unit? Red Dead is going to put me on the fence. Yeah, man. If only I had a PC capable of more storage than my phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's some shit, man. For the record, I warned your mom against that computer. Wake up, you son of a bitch. Oh, fucking Christ, they got up? Octagon said it would make them sleep for days! What a fucking liar! Fucking Octagon. Lying motherfucker. Dude, Buku, Red Dead looks good. That looks like some good shit.
No wakeys, bro. Yeah! You bought stock in take two, man? Oh shit. Oh shit. The situation is normal. All clear. The situation is normal. All clear. No wakey wakey eggs and bakey. I wish I would have bought stock in take two, man. All of my stocks are in super lame shit. My best stock is AXTI. They, they're a German company that makes like fucking composite metals. <laughs> I would love to get a good tech stock though. I always keep my eyes peeled, but none of them ever seem like they were like on a good trajectory. Hmm? Who's there? Oh my god, every fucking... Oh my god! Only other thing I'm mad about is I bought three games I can't run because of storage. Yeah, that's some shit, man. Round and round we go. When the sleepy's train stops, nobody knows. Come here, friendo. You and I are going in the kitchen. I think I can wake him up if I just keep picking him up. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. I want your dog tag. Freeze. <coughs> Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh. Give it. Mikil. You need to stay sleeping. You need to get up. I kind of know about the C4, bro.
Get up, I want to see you shake it. Man, that guy's sawing logs. Russian gunships get in New York City without getting spotted. MSF, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Metal Gear. Ah. How's your Monday night, MSF? You ready for some Metal Gear? Look at that snake butt. Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <gasps> oh, Olga Pataki. I'm good, man. You real good, bro. I'm always good when there's Metal Gear on the plate. Especially when it's my favorite Metal Gear. Shalashachka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker holds. Report your status. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker holds secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scattered. That's awesome, bro. Hell yeah, pilot. man. He's it was a trial, but I got my PS3 streaming. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. Snake just heard that she's pregnant. And he's gonna shoot her up with tranquilizer. I'm sure that's good for a baby. Freeze. 
But my gear. Hands over your head. Now. Yeah, show us those hairy pits. Toss your gun overboard. Slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too? I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. It overboard. Nice mic, bro. What make? Hold that. This is a CAD U37. Got it on Amazon. I got the USB model. Cause fuck having a mixer for this shit. <laughs> it's stopped me. Very observant, Olga. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. Russian ballistic knife. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. Since I was born, I grew God, up she loves talking about units. I have the blue yeti, it does the job. The Hell yeah, man. My I think your yeti's a little fucking higher quality than what I got here. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Oh, hit her snake. Damn, dude. You Can't wait for the rollerblading boss. What's up, Game Cricket? Welcome to the stream, man. Can't wait for Fat Man. You know, in theory, that should make it harder for her as well as me. How the fuck? Take this, Pits. Oh! Getting a little sluggish there, Pataki. Why does it keep on equipping my fucking rations? I legit couldn't stop laughing when I got to that part of the game. Yeah. Dude, Olga's so tough on Euro Extreme. Like, that's where I couldn't... I couldn't progress, man. Like, when I tried this game on European Extreme, I couldn't beat Olga. Sad as it is to admit, man. The, uh, base Extreme. American Extreme, if you will. Uh, that's the best I've ever done. And that was brutal. And yeah, seriously, Game Cricket, the fucking fat man. That's... 
That's ridiculous, even for Kojima. Hmm. Oh shit, Cypher! Why did you just stand there, dude? Cypher. All about timing and routine with these games. It's hard to achieve. It is, man. It is. Otacon, the ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? Any We've chance that Kon man. a Konami re remasters MGS? I think so. One of it's only a matter allies. of time. They're gonna cash in with that Metal Gear name yeah, they own. the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. Y you could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. I think Snake. Konami will probably redo the you. first... What? Like Nintendo Metal Gears first? Uh, about the new Metal uh, Gear on our own. Not like you. But I mean, they technically Not remastered the first one with Twin Snakes. It was a tip, an anonymous tip. Is anonymous. As ridiculous as that those. game is. Why would you start now? And it, that know. game's so broken with first person. Like the map were not made we have for you bands. to have that advantage. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So I have a copy of Twin of Snakes, e. uh, but my e. disc e. one got her broke, name is Emma, but and it's like fifty e. bucks to get a copy Emma? now or Emma? more. Yeah, it just caught my eye, you know. I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. VR missions was not off. fun. There's no ammo, but it takes a nine. It was fun for like an hour or two, but after that, it kind of wore here. off. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Give me those dog tags, Pataki. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freeze. <gasps> what are you? Though the VR missions for uh, sword riding, I think, are real fun. Ninja riding, if you will. I love the fucking fall down the stairs. What the are you? That alerts? That's a full blown alert, really? Those guys didn't see me. I haven't got naded. Any night. Black Jesus, what's up, man? Welcome back. Welcome back, my dude.
freeze. No! Ugh. Freeze. Huh? You hold? Oh, he's holding. Oh. Love this game up to that twist. Yeah, boy. Oh, shit. Fuck right the hell off with that shit. That's how you lose crotch access. Boy. I'm gonna get so many alerts. Is he shining? Nah, he ain't got nothing. How's your Monday, Black Jesus? Snake's got to stop and have his period. Freeze. What? Oh, great. Oh, hi. No big deal. Just a dude trying to enjoy some fucking alone time. Oh, sure. Ah, fuck. Nice roll, man. Will you guys stop moving? This is what I get for picking hard. Almost done with my homework. Ah, thanks for keeping me up. No problem, man. Need to stay asleep. You need to stay asleep. But there's another guy in here. Put a dart right in his dick. That's where darts go. Alright, back on that dog tag life. Is 
somebody there? Hmm? Is there somebody hmm. there? Oh. Oh. Who is that? It's the enemy. I need help. No, you don't. Oh. See how easy that was? I want this one. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, I want your dog tags. Get up! It's not like Metal Gear Solid 3 where I can just kick him awake. I gotta keep molesting him and they'll wake up. Nine viewers for Metal Gear Solid 2. Hell yeah, boys. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, definitely consider hitting that follow button. Freeze. There will be more Metal Gear in the future. There he is. That's that prick. Fuck! Forgot about that fucking asshole. That's that stinky guy. Shit, these guys are gonna start waking up. Come on, I need these tags, bro. Shit, now I'm the stinky guy. I need those tags, bro. I gotta get the hell out of here before those security wake up. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Tita. How's it going? Metal Gear is my favorite game. You are in good company, my friend. Welcome to the stream, Tita. Metal Gear Solid 2 is my favorite game of all time. Raven. Raven. Ah, shit. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome anytime, Tita. MGS for game cricket. Freeze. Huh? What are you? Who 
I thought they didn't hear it because it was in the engine room. I thought. I'm gonna get the worst rating on this one. You're fucking weird. Tito with the follow, thank you! You were too kind. Welcome to the troopers. How many? Head immortal. What the fuck ever? What difficulty are you on? I'm on hard. Stop hitting around, snake. This is my favorite bamboozle. What are you? Freeze. <gasps> Salt has reached maximum capacity. I don't get salty. I just start killing people. Hmm? Huh? Freeze. <gasps> I normally play on like normal. Uh, but I decided to challenge myself for this dream. <laughs> and I want them dog tags. Enemy sighted. Freeze. Oh, ow. Don't kill me. I won't. Ow. Oh shit. It's the intruder. Stay on guard. Ah oh, shit. The replacement guard for the area. Ah oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh, freeze. <laughs> we have an enemy on board. Watch out. 
I should have did my pull ups. I should have did my pull ups. I was blown away when I found out you could shoot the radios. I used to love to shoot one leg, one arm, and the radios, and watch them gimp away all helplessly. I was a sadistic little fucker. And somehow my wife still married me. To be fair, she probably never watched me play Metal Gear. Oh shit, that's a cunt with a shield. Snake's got to work on that upper body. Hut. 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 Man, when this game came out back in the 2000s, this shit was mold shattering. Oh. What are you? I'm a sneaky snake. Freeze. Oh, ow. Don't kill me. You didn't see shit. What an asshole. No way were they going to see that box. <laughs> nah, my box is too sneaky. I want your dog tags, so wake the fuck up for me, baby. Freeze. <laughs> Just try to pull the trigger. God damn it. This one of you, send back up ASAP. for bowling. Oh my lord. Hard means hard apparently. Bye bye. Fuck you.
Ah, fuck. Time for the sneaky snake. Yes, Atacana, no. I'm scared! Snake, wait, don't. Yeah, move. I already know. Explosives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a sloppy playthrough. Marizano Bridge checkpoint. Holy passed. shit, this is dark. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. I knew Stinky Boy would have a ration. Holy shit, this is dark. What the fuck? Guess it makes sense why they have goggles then, because it's so fucking dark. Oh, here comes the guy jamming out on his headphones. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. English language arts is the worst. You think in other countries they call their English like Chinese? Does Chinese language arts class? There's a guy out there having a snooze. That guy. Nothing to hurry. Freeze. No. Please don't. Ah. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. people it's ration I do need cuz here's that bullshit ass fucking hallway fight Also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. 
Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. Hold on, I got a screaming kid. One sec, guys. I'm back. Gen a little life. Pop up again, peek. Fucking asshole. If I didn't have to fucking reload every shot, that wouldn't have hurt so bad. That's it. I think that's it. Jesus. Shalashaska. Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the?
Uh oh, are you in trouble? Nah. The Colonel will be joining you soon, comrade. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar Metal with Metal Gear. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network managed to get into that workstation and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer. Push once the action I have the button, pictures, Snake. Right. Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing: the commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you. Okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds if not thousands of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the... 
This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear Force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military... What kind of sense does that make, Kevin? Like a swapping projector. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of RAID. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. Sixteen years later, I've yet to see a Metal Gear. They just kept them under wraps. They're out there, though. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. I went fast enough, they're all in their undies. Here. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to... Boom, the new that one's for Atacan. Always bear that in mind. Good. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more. That one was bad. Different in nature. Good. There's the program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. That was bad. Keep pushing the wrong damn button. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is... There it is. Let's see what Otacon thinks of that marine booty. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? The first one I'm seeing is... Huh. It needs to be a little <laughs> more clear. What we need is top-notch quality here. The next one's... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. The next image is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. The next image is the other photo of the f Which one did I miss? My duty. This turned up If you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit that follow button. Greatly appreciated. There will be a lot more Metal Gear in the future like of this stream. Especially look. since I got my PS3 okay. finally outputting good video. Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag.
We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. This is a pretty long series of cutscenes, guys, know. so I'm going to turn the cam off. Enjoy. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. <clears throat> Fucking love this game. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Streets. I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes. Returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. 
Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. <laughs> Ouch! Get out of, of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! <laughs> the price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Liquid arm.
Let's have what it takes after all! You're going down, Snake, with this tanker! Disgust. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Thank you so much for the 100 Juicy Bits, Buku. You're the best, man. You're pretty good. You're fucking weird. Timmy with the host for five viewers. Thank you, man. Showing that Metal Gear love. Let's see some hype in the chat for Phantom. My man. 
All right, guys, I'm turning the cam back off for more cutscenes. Enjoy, boys. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. 
The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a bite of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. <clears throat> Shout out to Buku for the lovely hundred bits. Thank you so much, man. And shout out to Phantom King V for the awesome host, man. Love you, Timmy. Love you long time. Everybody out there who loves Metal Gear, go give Phantom King V a follow. Man streams it on a weekly basis. You couldn't follow a better guy. Colonel, I know how to swim. Got your feet wet? He swims like a dolphin. <laughs> I'm not used to inverted controls, though. How you doing, Timmy? How you doing, man? Thank you for the beautiful host. It's not on easy, so no tranquilizer gun that quick. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. they become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know. I'll just get myself something. To eat. Thanks for the shout out, brother. Every means a lot. In the area. Happy to shout you oh, out, Timmy. Cold. You know you're my Whatever favorite streamer, bro. He's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and really get appreciate to work. the host, man. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. 
Did you just relaxing nerd? at the moment, buddy. Not watching your stream. Nerd. Good to hear, bro. Node. Good to hear. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. All right, here come the Got alerts. <laughs> Big shout out to Timmy for helping me get my PS3 stream set up. Likewise, man, you're a kick-ass streamer. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You're Thank you so here. much. Black Jesus with the host. Hell yeah, bro. Thank you, man. Uh, you guys, you guys do me too good. Do me too good. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Stream Remember did not go that well. Sessions. Oh, I'm Between sorry to hear exactly that, man. The same one. It maps the terrain as Gotta well stay on that grind, you know. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it it's in an area of strong harmonic resonance. It's made from currently existing technology. What so other kind of technology careful. is there? The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? I will always grind. Might grind you're, later. You're not Good to hear, brother. Involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. You are a Rules good man, bro. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our feeling the love tonight. Her disposal. She's never been a part of a field. More Metal mission. Gear to come. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, if a thousand viewers you, you would send you like all your way. Thank Whoa. you, man. Thank you, you need so someone much. someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. 
His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Why well, she got a guilt trip, our boy? Oh shit. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Start it off bad. Oh, give me a goddamn break. Yeah, I'm not playing so well tonight, boys. Oh my god. Quick, ride and have your period. Whew, maybe hard wasn't a good choice. <laughs> been too long the since I played. The call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. This game is really hard. It is. And I picked a hard difficulty. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell 1 at the moment. You can easily get lost? That you can, brother. That you can. 
First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. When I play on normal, I, I can like walk through the game. So I wanted to challenge myself. Hopefully I don't get stuck on vamp or like the metal gears at the end. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Hmm? Time to jack in. Get it, because his name is Jack. <laughs> There. Nope, there's nobody here. The first part of the game, like the tanker? Yeah, that's pretty easy. It's getting my ass handed to Ryan, me, though. Watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Head to Strut B, not Strut F. I'm a noob. It's been a while since I dusted this off.
Oh my god, Red, you have to call Colonel about everything? Ryden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Kill the baddies, Buku says. Think I should kill? No, you don't. No, you don't need help. There's no help for you. Ryden's got to stop and have his period. Lick the blade. Oh, that's fucked up. What 
are you? Five today. Or rather, six. Not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. Nanomachines, son. What about the President? 
Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. So smoke a cigarette. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after US allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? Uh, what are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this too. Here, take this. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between Struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? connecting bridge we need to get there can you handle it I need a few more minutes remember my frequency it's 141.80 141.80 got it I've been briefed on this plant's layout if you need information on the place or about dead cell contact me you're using nano communication right yeah but I can patch into your frequency Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden. Raiden? 
Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Remember where I get the tranquilizer pistol? Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Ah, shit. Butterfingers. More cutscenes. I love Fortune's theme. I love it. What the hell is that? Come. Put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? For a dud. Ready grenades. A dud. <laughs> Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness?
Rude. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Got a knock on her for good luck. NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. 
consultant lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is THE bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I oh, bullshit. Sense. And that's why you're here. Even for Metal Gear, that's ridiculous. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again? Sorry I keep yawning, Glad guys. I'm getting tired of shit. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. 
is what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own, and he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on Shell 1, another six on Shell 2. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell too. Take this. What's this? Security card, issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to Shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But. You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? 
Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, Kate kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. Hey, Discord! I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? <clears throat> How you doing, Spike? Welcome to the stream, bro. I only got another ten minutes in me. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders. Getting tired of shit here. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal.